This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. Least Satan should get advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. I have another scripture in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 12 verse 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory. Call Hello Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Waha, Rachak, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity. Risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, this edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, looking like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Shalom to all the sincere Akim out there pushing. This is the year of prophecy, and may prophecy be fulfilled. This is the brother Yawasop out of the GMS Cleveland camp, a fellow servant coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh I have a lesson out of the book, um, The Pentagon's Brain, and I got a lesson. Bear with me for a second. Satan always getting busy, ain't he? This is page. 442, um, I'm going to start on page 442. It says, science fiction is a powerful force. Because of the fictional work of Carter and her, many sounded-minded people take seriously at least two significant science fiction concepts. That's the spirit, because she said that is Terminator. And if you've ever seen Terminator 2, it shows you when Linda Hamilton gets basically annihilated by the nuclear missiles artificial intelligence machines could potentially outsmart their human creators and start a nuclear war <laughs> that's the spirit um, i'm gonna get what's that isaiah 9 and 4 salakia this is this is isaiah 9 and 5 for every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. It's not a coincidence that you got that guy like Kim Jong Un talking about so ah, I'm gonna build my missiles, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or America, like Donald Trump is the one that's actually revamping America's nuclear military pro man, it's so much shit going on. You talking to dumbass people though that know nothing but feel they do. It said the Terminator artificial intelligence machines could potentially outsmart their human creators and start a nuclear war. And that, as in an X Files, there are forces inside the government that keep certain truths secret. Because you got a lot of people that's in the government that's part of secret fraternities, secret societies. You know, just like you got a lot of people that's police officers that are part of like the fraternal order of Masonic, like Masons, like people. Like, that's nothing new, you know. Anyhow, as then that, this is the author. Her name is um, Annie Jacobson. She says, as a reporter, I have learned that these concepts also exist in the real world. Artificially intelligent hunter-killer robots present unparalleled potential danger, and the U.S. government keeps dark secrets in the name of national security. I've also found that some of the most powerful Pentagon secrets and strategies are hidden in plain sight. And that's why they got, you know, because if you are in, uninitiated in something, if you don't know about something, I could put something in your face that you ain't aware of. If you ain't familiar with drugs are, but I got a drug and it's right in your face, if you don't know what the fuck it is, how you gonna know it's a drug? The day after the Pentagon reporting trip, I went to see Michael Goldbaugh. The man who pioneered many of DARPA's super soldier programs. And that's the spirit, because my demon, she was talking about how she watches 
million dollar man and the bionic woman. So they was already showing you that they was gonna have like super soldiers way back then. Gold bought a scientist and venture capitalist ran DARPA's defense science office from 1999 until 2004. So he had a good five years. And oversaw program efforts to create, I think five is power. Program to efforts to create war fighters who are mentally and physically superior breed or superiorly, physically superior breed or physical and mentally and physically superior breed. Goldball asked me to come to his home for our interview and a car took me from my hotel room in the Pentagon City out to where Goldball lives in the suburbs. The trip took on the feel of an X-Files episode. It really make you wonder though. This woman is talking to people that work for DARPA, one of the most Palestine organizations in the government. And I'm trying to fucking do this and she she gonna sit right there and talk like I can't hear this. Bear with me for a second. Salakia. Continue. It says, um It says Goldbolt asked me to come to his home for our interview and as a car took me from my hotel room and Pentagon City out to where Goldbot lives in the suburbs. The trip, the trip took on the feel of an X file episode. Traveling through the woodsy environs, environs of Moline, Virginia, down Dolly Madison Boulevard. Dolly's husband James Madison called war the dreaded enemy of liberty. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find out that these celebrities is mixed in with. Eh. But, you know, I don't know why. You know, that could have been a pun, you know. Sometimes they do certain shit to make jokes, you know what I mean? That's why you got, like, a person like Martin Luther King got all these streets named after him and all that old shit. But he really was a puppet for the Rock, Rock, um, Rock Childs, you know. That's why he got pictures with him. Um, it says, so, you know. She probably was just looking at the um what do you call that? Like an oxymoron. It was she looking at the flip side of it. It says, Call War the Dreaded Enemy of Liberty. We passed by the entrance to the CIA headquarters, Langley, and turned into a nearby residential neighborhood. So you know he all the way affiliated. He lives actually because you gotta remember, you know, in DC, that's a so a separate whole district country from the rest of the country. But then still, you think you got stupid ass people talking about how you American or how this one country or how people taking over the country. You got parts in America that aren't even part of America, where your White House is located. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once you get it to that point, that's why they put a nigga in office. He wasn't even no nigga though. He just a hamite. He had a lot of charisma though. I give Obama that. I think, like I said, they know how to engineer that shit because. You know, man, at the end, they, I, I, I'm still amazed at that. People sit up there and say a lot of different shit, but he was a Hamite. But he could go back to Jake. You got to think about it because Ham ain't that charismatic. Obama had charisma for it. You know, just because she got him from fucking Africa does, or got the DNA from Africa doesn't mean that he was an African. You had a lot of Israelites flee into Africa. And get sold in slavery over here. <laughs> and it's all coming out. And still, that's what they want to fight on YouTube. That's what we tell vocab bitches. I hate vocab Malone. I mean, I hate him with a passion. I ain't going to like wish him no bad luck and no shit like that. Fuck that nigga. The Lord hear our cries. But that's a demon. I literally watch. You know how you know a nigga is up to no good? You can literally see, like, this nigga is up here talking about us, but then want to act like he our friend. Like, yeah, let me buy you something to eat. Let, let's go out. What is it? But then you sitting up here talking about us, and then you talking about, oh, yeah, the Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> you piece of shit. But you ain't talking about the homosexuals. You ain't talking about the government. Though. You ain't talking about the market. You ain't talking about nothing that's prophetic. You just talk about how dare these niggas talk about the day the Israelites. Ain't that about something? Hmm. 
Inside his home, Michael Goldbart and I discussed transhumanism. And that's what they're trying to turn you into once you put this fucking chip in you. That chip is going to actually make you, uh, I mean, you not no longer God's creation. I'm about to get to scripture. Revelation 13 and verse 9. Thirteen and sixteen. This is Revelation thirteen and sixteen, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or in his forehead. When you go into that word mark, it means karagma, meaning an incision, a cut, and basically that chip they cut through your skin. It's like when the hymen, like uh, Elder Apostle Gabar, always goes in a, a hymen. When you, the hymen has to be cut because the penis is penetrating it and then cut. And that's when she loses her virginity. That's why a woman bleeds when she actually loses her virginity. That's why they put that gauze on. I mean, you might not believe, like my young brother said, he basically became a man at 10. I didn't become a man at 10. That's it. But everything is the will of the Lord. I didn't think that the way that they got this shit so messed up. Nah, they, you know, it's a, it's beautiful. That's how you know the Lord's still working. Cause he could have been all the way bugged out. You know, I, I, I seen the pictures. He had blonde dreads, blondie dread. <laughs> like he said, I'm a bad boy. He's blondie dread. You know what I mean? All the way bugged up. So lucky though, know, but because we read that about transhumanism, it says darpest efforts to augment or increase the performance of war fighters with machines pharmaceuticals and other men and when you go into that pharmaceuticals that's witchcraft so yeah they chemically like basically they trying to do um like um genetic modification all kind of shit under gobots gobots tenure unclassified programs included Per sizzly assistance performance or selected persistence in combat mechanical mechanically dominant soldiers and continually assisted performance. These programs focus on augmenting the physical body of war fighters, but today I am most interested in the DARPA program that focused on augmenting the human brain. And that's what I wanted to lead up to. Because these people, that's why you got Tesla. That it's able to come out this year. He said he's ready for human trials for that um, neural link. And it literally told you in the scripture, it says in his right head or in his forehead. Not just the brains of the, so like, not just the brains of brain wounded warriors, but those of healthy soldiers as well. DARPA calls this area of research augmented cognition or all cog. The concept of all cogs sits at the scientific frontier of human machine interface or what the Pentagon calls human robot interaction. So basically, you're going to be able to think to turn your fucking um, TV on. And that's just one little thing, though. But, you know, just that's basically the concept. Because you got a lot of people that's going to jump on this Internet of thing. These people are so fucking stupid. That they going to accept some shit that's going to hurt them. In the this is like, for instance, I always bring this up. You have people give up their guns for the feeling of feeling safe until the government say, well, nigga. Because that's how these beast governments were. You know, it's amazing. When I figured out how Rome and America is so similar. I got a book right now, Are We Rome? And it talks about the similarities of America and Rome. So when you go going through the Bible and you it talks about that beast that was resurrected, <laughs> which it called Rome a beast. Be Rome conquered the lot. Anyhow, that's why they augmented everything that went through ancient like a lot of the laws, a lot of the architecture, a lot of shit is based off of Rome for real. <laughs> So lucky, uh, I just had a brain fart. This <laughs> is in DARPA's Robo Rat, and they got a Robo Rat. So, like I said, best believe they perfected the, the technology. If this dude was willing to tell this bitch about the fact that they got a robot rat, what do you think they're not telling her? 
But I'm curious as to who she is that she got that much information. You ain't got to be, ain't no regular peon going to get, either she knows somebody high up or she is affiliated with them that they letting her bring out this information. And the Manduka Sexta Moth programs. That sound even beat. I run into this scientist created animal machine bio hybrids that are steerable by remote control so they can use animals to go spy on you. Shit, they can use an animal probably to, they probably can make that animal bite you. Take a remote control rat and have that motherfucker with a di deadly disease going, man, talking about, man, y'all don't even get. The military, our military, while you love this stupid ass country so much, is terrorists around the world. These motherfuckers just killed the man. And like I said, like, they're not even fighting conventional warfare no more. They're using drones. To, that's how they killed that dude, Salamali. They flew a, <laughs> a drone strike and blew him up. Through augmented cognitation programs, DARPA is creating human machine bio hybrids, or what we call cyborgs. I'm going to stop that there because I'm going to get way more into the lesson, Laura Willing, because this is another lesson. You know, there's so much going on. And the elder brought that up. The elder Kazak out of Mississippi, my brother, fellow brother in the camp brought that up. If you can't think of a topic to do, you should be in the spirit of trying to do a video a day. I, I know I've been getting in the video a day lately. I always try to do my mandatory, but... I'm in the, the spirit of doing a video today just to cuss this place out and get the fuck out of, you know, our lots are different. I got a goofy ass lot. So to, to, to you know, keep me in the spirit. Because, I mean, like I said, the Lord actually, actually, like I said, showing, showing, oh yeah, I, <laughs> I'm about to start doing <laughs> And if you can't see that, then it ain't probably meant for you to see it. You know what I mean? Scary but true thing. So I'm going to stop there because I'm going to start this lesson up, Laura Willen, tomorrow. With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. Call Halal La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Double honor to apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwat and the Akim out there listening and learning. Laura Willing was an edifying video. Shalom to the confusion in Salakia. Shalom to the Israelite foreigner. Keep on thinking that confusion is face. That's shame faced. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that subscribe to this truth. They may look like the Israelites. I mean, it's like they may look like the other nations, but they subscribe to this truth. So it tells you in the book of Romans that his spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. If you're bearing witness to this truth, that means that you're more than likely an Israelite. You know, just like you got people that's rejecting this truth. You got some people, you know, you got two thirds niggas, but you got Esau. I've watched videos where Esau literally didn't admit it, they Esau. Like the fuck out of here. We ain't just come up one day and chose to do this. You know how much I tried to run from this? <laughs> but this neither here nor there. Like I said, we have our personal testimonies, but we ain't got to explain and try to convince you of shit. We going to see in that day when this shit go down, who was right. With that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. Call Lord, Lord, Yahweh, Shalom, Shalom, and a Bible ball.